against the wall, lads, there's a puffin down. <laughs> Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out some lovely Harry Enfield. This is the Yorkshire man. I love this geezer. He's so funny. Let's go. Right. So what do we know about our new creative director then? He's forthright. He doesn't pull his punches. Put it like this. He's the best man in the business. Hey, you! <laughs> Don't stand up. I'm farted, you know. <laughs> George Whiteread. I'm a Yorkshireman. Plain speaking. I say what I like and I like what I bloody well say. <laughs> hey, up, son. You'll never blame a Yorkshire. No offence. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got here? My little pony. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Anyone at home? I don't think so. <laughs> no offence. That's great. I love the attitude. Uh, oh, oh, bumped against the wall, lads. There's a puffin down. <laughs> no offence. <laughs> right. What have you got for me, then? Right. Now, as you know, I've been working on the bank campaign and I've come up with what I call my egg theory. This is based on our analysis that shows that what people want from a bank is, on the one hand, something dependable, solid, like the shell of the egg, and on the other hand, something soft, reassuring, sympathetic, like the yolk is... What so... the bloody hell are you going on about? <laughs> well, I've two words to say to that. Shite! <laughs> What's the other one? Shite! <laughs> hey, Yorkshire, then I go down a boat as well as you... <laughs> Do you know what's mad? This is me. I love that. That's like my favourite word to say. Shite. I love saying shite. <laughs> I've got two words for that. Shite. What's the other word? Shite. <laughs> uh, again, I feel like I've got... I don't want to say an old soul. Like, this is... My comedy is so... You know, of the 70s, 80s, 90s era. I love this kind of comedy. And, and the fun thing is, I never knew I loved it until I started reacting to some, to this. I used to react to, you know, songs, you know, Bee Gees. And I absolutely, no, nah, I absolutely love the Bee Gees. I've listened to like over 100 of the songs. But like two, three years ago, I had no clue what the Bee Gees was. What I'm trying to say is just be open to stuff in life. Try something new. No matter how old you are. It doesn't matter if you're 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140. I could go on. You get the, you get the gist. Just try something new. Trust me. You never know. Well, you might like. Oh, it's never too late. Sorry. Your 15 stone charted back a minute. No, <laughs> My name is Marjorie Wallace and I'm the financial controller. Oh, mm -hmm. that's lovely, dear. Now run along and make us a cup of tea, <laughs> would you? Face <laughs> like a bulldog chewing a wasp, eh? <laughs> Uh, look, I'm sorry, but Marjorie happens to be my girlfriend. Oh, don't apologise, lad. We've all made mistakes. <laughs> right, this bank ad, I've done me own. Close up on a man. Real man. No offence, pal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Open a bank account at the National Northern Bank and you get a free packet of lard. <laughs> right, I've done one for that slimming campaign. Fat lass, right? Standing on weighing scales, all in her spare time. She's going, oh, dear, look at this. Bloke says, never mind, love, sorry to get hold of. Let's get pissed oh. and have some lard sandwiches. <laughs> right. Another one, right? For that bread campaign. Eat white bread. We're now farted about with. <laughs> Don't be a puff. Eat white bread. Look, I'm terribly sorry, but... I just don't think they have quite the right, well, sophistication. Sophistication? Sophistication? Don't talk to me about sophistication, love. I've been to Leeds. <laughs> <laughs> right. I've done one of them coffee ads, right? You know, with bloke and charty bit from next door. You can play charty bit. I know it's miscasted, love, but you'll have to do, eh? <laughs> right, can you read, love? Yes. Oh, clever little lass, isn't she? <laughs> right, stand up, then. Come on up with you. Hey, hey. Sorry. Can you read, love? Clever little lassie. What the fuck? <laughs> Again, I've said this in the past year. Most of Ari Enfield stuff, there's no chance it's going to be on TV today. There's no way. This was on BBC back in the <clears throat> late 90s, early 2000s, I'm guessing. And the fact that they actually ran this long, fair play that they allowed it. Because today, it's not going to happen. No way. You'd have people campaigning, going everywhere. <laughs> Wow, what a time to be alive, what a time. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Right, Block and Tarzy bit are in bed, right? He starts, he goes, E, that was a right good shag love. <laughs> Lucky we had all that coffee, otherwise I never would have been able to keep it up after 15 bites. <laughs> she 
says. Fancy another? What? Another coffee? No, another shag. <laughs> All right, I'll get the lard. <laughs> Oh god, that was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. That's proper British comedy right there. That's what that's my kind of comedy. It's it's so dark. Most of the time it's dark. But it's not real. That's what we have to realise. It's still comedy at the end of the day. Yeah. I, I could be dying. Go f- touch wood. I'm not dying. I could be dying and this is the kind of stuff I want to watch in my last few days. Because life is just too short. Enjoy. Don't take life too serious. Oh, Again, people that do watch my channel, I appreciate you guys. I know most people won't watch this kind of stuff. It's very offensive to them. Mm. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Try a lot. Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry. Sorry. I keep saying sorry. Sorry. One last time. Like, comment, so- subscribe. Check out the Patreon. Check out the Patreon if you want to support the channel. Check out the membership. It's all the links down below. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.